welcome back to Miss Ocasio Reads. I'm Miss Ocasio and I'm so excited to read with you today. Did you know that you have a superpower? It's called the power to choose. Your teachers can help you, but it's up to you to make great choices at school. Today we'll read a story about Danny, who needs help making choices in some tricky situations. But first... Wow! Cool! <laughs> Okay, friends, let's get ready to use our superpower, our power to choose. What Should Danny Do? School Day Written by Gani and Adir Levy Illustrated by Matt Sadler Hi, my name is Danny, and I'm a superhero in training. I have lots of cool superpowers. I can make myself invisible. I am super strong. I have x-ray vision. And even though learning how to fly is harder than I thought it would be, I'm not giving up anytime soon. I've been testing a superpower called the power to choose at home. And today, I'm going to practice using it at school. With this power, I can change my day by changing my choices. Today is a special day because you'll be making choices for me. When you reach an ending, you can start over and change your choices. Then we'll see how powerful the power to choose really is. Ready? Let's go. Oh no! This morning I was caught by the evil Dr. Ninjario. But have no fear. After a hundred thousand minutes, I'm finally on the brink of escaping. His laser beam dungeon is no match for me. Danny! It's time to get ready for school! Mom calls out. Oh man! I am busy trying to escape from Dr. Ninjario. If I stop now, I may never get out. What should Danny do? Continue playing or stop playing and get ready for school? <sighs> I'm having so much fun, but I know I can beat Dr. Ninjario later. I quickly get ready for school. Then I remember that today is show and tell. I put Webster, my tarantula, in his travel cage and pack him a crunchy cricket for lunch. My best friends, Maddie and Jakey, get a sneak peek on the bus. Show and tell is a blast! The whole class is mesmerized, and they ask so many questions. What does Webster eat? Does he bite? Does he sleep? Does he poop? When I tell them I brought a cricket, they all beg to watch me feed it to Webster. Later at recess, I run straight out to the soccer field. Uh-oh, Parker is playing. I'm a little scared of him. We start the game and Parker quickly scores three goals on Albert. Ha ha, three goals in three minutes, he says. You're the worst goalie ever. Albert cries and runs off the field. A few minutes later, Maddie tries to stop the ball. It rolls right under her foot and goes straight into the goal. Parker yells at Maddie, You're worse than Albert! Why don't you go join him in the crybaby corner? What should Danny do? Continue playing without responding or tell Parker to play nicely? I'm a little scared of Parker, but then I remember I'm a superhero. If I don't stop him, who will? I think I need a sidekick for this mission. Hey, Jakey, let's go tell him to stop, I say. Okay, as long as we go together. I summon my super bravery and walk up to Parker. If you aren't nice to us, we won't play with you, I say. Yeah, Jakey says. Then Maddie, Micah, and Josh say that they won't play with him either if he isn't nice. Parker is surprised. 
I don't care, he says. Don't play. We all go over to the next field and start a new game. Just before we start, Maddie gives me a hug. Thanks for standing up for me, Danny. But then I see Parker all alone. I know I'd feel sad if I didn't have anyone to play with. Maybe Parker just needs a friend. I run over to him. Hey, Parker, we want you to play, I say. We just want you to play nicely with everyone. I don't want to play. Well, you're one of the best players. We want you back. I I'm not in the mood, Parker says. Here, this might help, I say. You can wear it for the rest of recess. We run back to the field. Parker's really nice for the rest of the game. I wonder if it's my cape that did the trick. Later, my super muscles beg to be recharged. Luckily, it's lunchtime. I see Leo sitting all by himself. He looks sad. If I stop to ask him what's wrong, it might take too long till I get to eat. My super muscles won't like that. What should Danny do? Pretend not to notice Leo's sad? Or ask Leo what's wrong? What's wrong, Leo? I ask. I forgot my lunch at home, he says. My stomach hurts so much. I know how that feels, I say. Last time I forgot my lunch at home, my superpower tank emptied really fast. I have an idea. I tell my friends and they all agree. We each give him a small part of our lunch, so we still have plenty left to eat. Wow, Leo says. You guys are so nice. Seeing how happy Leo is because of what we did reminds me that kindness is one of my most powerful superpowers. It's so easy to use and it can make others so happy. After lunch, it's time for science. Score! I love science! Last week, we built volcanoes, and today we get to make them erupt with slimy lava. I'm so excited that I get started right away. I mix the ingredients, but when I pour in the vinegar, nothing happens. I try again. This time, I pour in half the bottle of vinegar, but still nothing happens. All around the room, kids start cheering as their volcanoes erupt. I try mixing everything again, and my slime feels perfectly gooey. I pour in the vinegar, but all I get is a stinky volcano that isn't erupting. This is so frustrating. I feel like giving up and just play with my slime. What should Danny do? Keep trying to make his volcano erupt? or give up and just play with his slime. Superheroes don't give up that easily. I start over, but this time I use my super focus to make sure my measurements are precise. Oh, it looks like I left out the baking soda last time. Maybe that's why it didn't work. I pour in the vinegar and Whoa! My volcano has the gooeyest, gloppiest eruption. The lava keeps oozing out. Miss Blakely comes over to me and says, Danny, I saw that you had to remix your slime a few times. I'm proud of you for continuing to try hard, even though things weren't going your way. Thanks, Miss Blakey. Jakey comes over to my table and we play with each other's slime. Later, Miss Blakey calls for everyone's attention. The whole class quiets down. Someone in this class has made some excellent choices today. After recess, Maddie told me about how he helped convince someone to play nicely with everyone else. At lunch, I saw him gather food for someone who forgot their lunch at home. Hmm, could she be talking about me? Miss Blakey continues, 
Just now, he worked extra hard on his science project and chose to not give up. This person definitely used their power to choose wisely. So he deserves to be the P2C star of the week. Danny Miller, please come up to accept your award. The entire class applauds. Score, this is awesome. When I get home, mommy is so proud of me. She even lets me invite Jakey and Maddie over to test out my new zip line. Whoosh. This must be how superheroes feel when they fly high above the city after a day of hard work. Ending number one. To Miss Ocasio and friends, may you always use your power to choose wisely. Love, Gani and Adir Levy. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's story. Get your own copy to explore all eight endings. Ask your grown-up for help in the description below downloading a fun activity to go with this story. And never forget about your special power, the power to choose. See you next time. Thanks for joining me today for Miss Ocasio Reads. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your teachers and friends. Subscribe to read more stories with me. Connect with me on social media with a grown-up's help to suggest the next story. And visit Miss Ocasio Meets to get to know your favorite authors. Thanks for watching.